Laborers line up coffins along trenches in New York City's Heart Island. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Caroline von Petzholt. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification button because you will get notification once I post and you don't want to miss any episode because we're living in the most scariest but also most exciting times on the earth right now. Okay guys, if you read the title, I just did this discovery. It is true. New York is having mass gravest killing a lot of people because of the COVID 19 pandemic. So I, once I saw that video, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Check this out, roll the clip. Laborers line up coffins along trenches in New York City's Heart Island, a desolate strip of land accessed only by boat and used since the 19th century to bury those with no known next of kin. Normally 25 bodies are laid to rest here each week, but since the COVID outbreak gripped New York, they're burying almost that many a day. It's normally manned by jail inmates, but even they can't work now after an outbreak of the disease at the city's main prison. And this is why they need it. Dead bodies being wheeled in procession from a hospital in Brooklyn as across New York, the death toll from COVID-19 continues to rise. I hate the phrase, we know what we signed up for because as much as we may have known, we didn't know this, we haven't seen this. No one has seen this. Um, but we know why we signed up for this, and it's to help. But across New York, the rate of hospitalizations is falling, giving a glimmer of hope the worst could be over. What we are doing is working, and therefore we need to continue to do it. I know I sound like a broken record. That's good. I want to sound like a broken record. Let's just keep doing it. We have to stay home. It's all they're asking us to do. It's not that hard. This is so crazy, guys. I cannot believe that people are dying so fast in New York and that they have to dig holes and bury all their dead. And these graves are for like people who don't have any loved ones or kinship or they die by themselves. So they don't know what to do and they put them all in this mass graves together without any um, names, tags, headstones, tombs. They just pour like sand over them and that's it, they are gone. It is so sad. Guys, if you don't know it yet, we are living not only in the end times, but we are living in a final moment of the end times. And new at six, microchipping humans. Is it the wave of the future or an invasion of privacy? The implants can mean no more fumbling around with keys or electronic guards, but as ABC 3340's Cynthia Gould reports, some see a major downside. It's a workshop full of laser cutters and 3D printers. Dale and Drew are founders of this prototyping facility. My background's more art and design, fine things. He's more of the bulldozer. They take ideas and make them reality while mixing in a little fun. <laughs> They've even injected microchips under their skin. And stick a big needle in and... The products come from a company called Dangerous Things. The microchips open up doors, start cars, let you use Apple and Google Pay. Dale has one in his elbow, while Drew... One, two, three... ...has seven total in his hands. Could they be used to find a missing child? These are not. These have no power. I don't know if any chips right now that have power that could do that. So the answer is no on that. The last thing you want is one of those batteries in your body. They say they're not easy to hack, but there is a risk the chips can be used to clone access cards. Can you imagine trying to implant this thing <laughs> on your skin? A sci-fi fantasy or perhaps a look into the future. Proponents say the uses are endless. The chips can give medical teams instant data on a patient or open doors for a handicapped person. But critics say this all opens up a Pandora's box of questions on ethics and privacy. One of the biggest concerns are just unintended consequences of starting to include the ability to track where bodies are uh, in the most fundamental sense. Associate Professor Zimmer says we need to proceed with caution when it comes to this technology. Hoping that maybe the solutions we come up with could be more temporary than, than an implant. So like 
maybe a scannable tattoo or something that could be that could be washed off, or, or, or there might be you know just just wearable technology might be the right path forward, like an Apple Watch or a Fitbit. Now the microchips are gaining popularity in Sweden, where Zimmer says there is already a strong digital culture. A few companies here in the U.S. are trying them out right now. I guess I'm still trying to figure out why that one guy had seven of them in one oh. hand. Uh, anyway, we, we're all very familiar with these as they relate to pets. But when you talk about humans, how do these work? They go right in your hand about right here, and they're very small. We're told about the size of a grain of rice. So that's it. And if you don't Amazing. like them, you can supposedly just push them right out. But I don't know. What do you all think? It seems very odd to me. Uh, this is what the Bible says. The Bible says at the last days, these things will happen. Pandemics and famines and pestilence, they will come. And there will be war and, and rumors of war. But do not be afraid because God is there. He has everything in control. Okay, guys. So you think microchipping humans is far away and it's not here yet no we are living in the final hours of the end times and this is what has come to be look at this article from msn news um abc news he says fda approves computer chip for humans uh, Washington, medical muscle or privacy invasion, a tiny computer chip approved Wednesday for implants in patient arm can spree, spread, uh, speed vital information about a patient and medical history to doctors and hospitals by critics one that it could open new ways to imperil the confidentiality of of medical records. So the FDA Food Administration says Wednesday that um, they market the very chip and implantable computer chip about the size of a grain of a rice for medical purpose. So this article was from 2004, but now they already approved in 2004. We have now 2020. This is a little microchip as small as a grain of rice. Look at this is a penny. Look how small this is. So I'm going to link this article down in the description and you can read it yourself. An uh, implant costs between $100 and $200. In pets, installing a chip runs about $50. For humans, a chip implant would cost $100 to $150. And yeah, and it says, whatever the cost of data storage, encrypted transmission for medical information would pass to provide. This chip... This chip has been approved in 2004, right here. This is when the up, uh, article was updated. But now we have 2020. How much more advanced has become this chip in the last um, 16 years? There's articles from 16 years ago, guys. So we are here. We are now in the end times where they are going to implant chips on us. And, and this is the mark of the beast. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark on their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save that he had the mark of the beast or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's wisdom. Let him that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man, and its number is 666. And they says here, um, Alzheimer who undergo complex treatments like chemotherapy can have chips implant if the procedure proves to be popular in humans, as is in pets. They could mean up to a million chips implanted in people. So far, just 1,000 people across the globe have the device implanted, very few of them in the United States. But this was 16 years ago. So right now we're living in a very scary times. In 16 years when the FDA has approved a tiny chip as small as a rice, what can happen now? So just open up your minds, guys, and think about the possibilities, what's going to go on like this this year when Bill Gates wants to like put a microchip in you for the coronavirus. So it's a digital certificate of quantum um tattoo and now this chip first it will be the quantum tattoo and then it will be this chip in your hand and it will be like a computer ai society it will be very very scary everything what we see on netflix how this computer age are going to like 
um, we see just we see Netflix this computer age is advancing more and more where they replace computers and robots for humans because robots and computers are so much better than humans they don't make any mistake as humans does and they have more intelligence so AI artificial intelligence is here we are in a era where computer and um, technology will run super fast from now on now also with 5g coming out they need this technology they need 5g to have even more advanced computer ai stuff in our house so you think this is not the last days this is the final hours of the last days if you want to get right with god and you don't know where you're going when you die tomorrow please accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Get right with God right now. Now it's not the time to play around and say, oh, I need to do this. I want to do this. I, I want to be an actor. I want to be a musician. I want to be an astronaut, whatever. Like this time right now is the most crucial time in history because time is going to pass so fast by. And if you die tomorrow, you don't know where you're going and you don't have this inner peace where you are then you need to take Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Because Jesus always saves and he always heals. He always helps and he's always there. Jesus is the first and the beginning, the Alpha and Omega, the first and last. He will be victorious. The Bible also says like we have to watch Israel. Whatever happens in Israel, so the world will go. So if there's a peace treaty signed with Israel and the enemies, we'll have seven years peace before the great first tribulation comes. And let me tell you right now, the peace, the peace treaty is right now on the table. Israel has figured out now their politics. Once the government is back up and running, they will sign this peace treaty with Palestine. And this is the beginning of seven years. But the Bible also tells us after three years, the treaty will be broken. And this is the start of the great tribulation. So we don't have a lot of time guys i'm just saying like we are living not in the end times but in the final hours of the end times and it's right now to get right with god before the second coming of jesus and the rapture so if you want to get right with god and you are afraid of death but you say i don't want to be afraid of death i want to know I want to know where I go. I want to go to heaven. I want to choose Jesus. I don't want to go to hell. Then pray this prayer after me. Then you will be safe. Because the Bible says everybody who believes in their heart and confess with their mouth, they will be safe. You need to accept Jesus first. And if you don't want to accept Jesus first, oh God, you know, God is going to wait for you. He loves you so much. He will always extend his hand out and ask you to come to him. Our God gave us a free will and he lets us decide. He lets us choose. So choose Jesus. Get right with God. Have peace in your heart. Have peace in your life. There it will be a time coming right now where people are like looking around looking for a savior back and forth and there's so much like unrest going on and they are creating the unrest this is the cult the satanic cult they are creating this unrest they're creating this pandemic they're creating the virus and now people are like going back and forth where to go to and they don't know where to go to they will look for a savior and they will make one man a savior who is the antichrist who will come in with great miracles and people are like wow he must be godlike but he is not god don't be fooled he is not god and right now once the peace treaty is signed with israel we'll have only seven years till the second coming of jesus and the great tribulation so if you want to get right with god please please pray this prayer after me Repeat after me this prayer and accept Jesus in your heart because he loves you so much. And Jesus is not coming back yet because he wants people to get safe. He wants you to give, he wants to give everybody the chance to get right with him and to save them and have their names written in the Lamb's Book of Life. There's a book in heaven called the Lamb's Book of Life and he has the names of the people written in this book that belongs to him. Have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Don't go to hell because you are so precious and so beautiful and Jesus loves you so much. So just repeat this prayer after, after me. All what you have to do is 
repent in your heart, believe in your heart, and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and you will be safe. So repeat after me right now. Father, in Jesus' name I come before you. I ask you for forgiveness of my sin. You said in your word, the Bible, if I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth, I will be safe. Lord, I want to be safe. I want to go to heaven. I want to believe in you. I want to accept you as my Lord and my Savior today. Take away my stony, fleshy heart and put into me a new heart, a heart that feels and loves and cares for others. Forgive me my sins and cleanse me, purify me, help me, and be the Lord of my life all the days of my life. I repent of my evil ways and I say no more. Thank you, Jesus, that you died for me on the cross. I accept your offering and I am cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, from now on and evermore, I'll be a child of God. Give me the Holy Spirit and give me peace in my heart in this time of tribulation and unrest. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed this prayer right now, I just want to say congratulations. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. They are celebrating. They are so happy that a soul is safe. Because Jesus will go after the one soul that's missing and leave the 99 souls behind just to save that one lost soul. So congratulations, you are safe. You will be with Jesus in heaven. And if he comes back for his second coming, which will be very soon, you will be with him forever and ever. This is the most greatest thing you have ever done your whole life, your salvation. Thank you so much, everybody who's watching, who's listening, and who prayed this prayer after me. Please comment below if you prayed this prayer after me and if you gave your life to Jesus. And comment also uh, what you think about those mass graves in New York. I love you. And if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button. And also give us a like in this video. And I have a second channel. You know, I was doing a lot of parrot content with this channel, but I'm going to switch gears and put all my pirate content my birds content on my second channel angelic parrots here's angelic parrots please subscribe to angelic parrots as well i love you guys thank you so much for listening please share this video with other people so that other people can get safe and get right with god today i love you and i'll see you tomorrow bye